Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayanne, and today I will be talking about Stillborn. It's a 2017 release directed by Brandon Christensen. So the story does centralize around a new mother who does give birth to twins. However, only one twin does survive. It follows her journey of first-time motherhood, uh, new struggles, and possibly something just a little bit more sinister. Is Mary suffering from just postpartum depression, postpartum psychosis, or is there actually an evil force trying to take her surviving baby away from her? So my likes. It is an interesting subject to make a horror movie out of. It's definitely controversial. And I feel like based on it being mostly from her perspective as the movie goes on, it's hard for the audience to really judge is this actually happening to her or is she really just you know believing the hallucinations that she's having from the psychosis is there really something there or is it just you know the things happening in her brain that are tricking her to think that way and that is a unique way of setting up a horror movie my dislikes just gonna jump to them right away Speaking of jump, there's a lot of jump scares, and they are cheap AF, and I don't appreciate them. They're just your body reacting to things. It's not scary. It's a stupid demon face popping up, and you're going to jump. I hate that. There was not a lot of payoff from them. Usually, if it's full of jump scares and there is payoff, I'm not so angry about them, but this, I just, it was cheap. Sorry. And again, the demon face that they keep showing over and over again is so CGI'd and it's not scary. It's not even comical. It's just, oh, it's another demon face. Eh, that sounds snobby, but whatever. Uh, the acting from the mom, for the most part, I didn't find super believable that she actually loved her child. However, this could have been done on purpose being as she is being treated for postpartum depression, she is probably having a really hard time bonding with her child. Being as the circumstances, he is the surviving twin, she might hold some kind of resentment towards him being the only one that made it, maybe somehow blaming him for it, maybe somehow blaming herself so she is unable to love. You don't really know, but I just, I didn't feel like anything from her, though, was very believable. Even her interactions with her so-called friend, her interactions with her so-called husband. I don't know. I don't know if it was the actress or if it was really meant to be like this, but it kind of took me out of the movie. So I do give this movie a 1.5 out of 5. I found it streaming on Shudder. It is available on um, Amazon Video as well. I think only through Shudder maybe, but the link I found said Amazon Video. It is also available on a physical copy. Have you guys seen this movie? What did you think about this movie? Leave me a comment down below. You probably have a way different perspective, especially if you're a mom that gave birth to a child, you probably have a different perspective. I'm a stepmother. So obviously my thoughts are going to be different. That's, you know, that's fine. That's how it is. If you liked the video, please leave me a like. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Hit the notification bell for notification of all my uploads. You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews and on Twitter at Reanimator. And enjoy the movie, I guess. I didn't, but you could.